January, and all dates available at romplacone.com. So they're they're protesting in France now. They they know how to protest in Europe, and they 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 know how to get into the streets. They go on strike, and they don't stop. There's always strikes, mm-hmm. which is good. Um, so gas price, they're 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 raising gas prices, right? So it's which is a form of austerity in a sense, right? So mm-hmm. they're putting the burden on the workers, and people who have to use their car to get to work are being burdened instead of rich people. Again. It's austerity um, for you and socialism for the wealthy. Uh, So here's what's happening. French transport minister Elizabeth Bourne said that there's going to be a tax on diesel and it's going to increase by 6.5 cents per liter. Wow. Yeah. So so that would be uh, that'd be like over 25 cents a gallon. Right, mm-hmm. that they would increase it. Mm-hmm. So, because there's there's four liters in a yeah. right, because a yeah. liter is close to a quart, four yeah, quarts yeah, yeah. of a gallon. Right, am I right about that? Yeah. Um, I li- I like the metric system. It's based on ten. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so they were going to do that in January, and the tax on gasoline is set to increase by two point nine cents. Most people use diesel cars in France. Did you know that? Oh, I did not know that. Neither no. did I. A total of 282,710 people took part in 2,000 rallies across France. Across France. Yeah, it's not like, yeah. I mean, it, it's a decent-sized Two, country, but it's not right. like, it's not huge. Like, Do you know Italy is the same landmass as Arizona? I did not know that. I didn't know that until I went to Italy and I found that out. I'm like, get out of here. Yeah. So I wonder how big France is compared to the United States. Like, is it as big as Texas? You know what I mean? Like, how big is France? But anyway, um, the French media called this level of protests unprecedented. So 2,000 rallies in France with over a quarter of a million people. Texas is slightly Slightly larger larger than France. Wow. Oh boy! Can you imagine two thousand rallies in Texas yeah, alone? Right. Can you imagine that <laughs> two thousand rallies in Texas? So I can't remember that guy whose joke he had a joke about Texas is so flat. Oh yeah, you look out. You look out over the plains in Texas. You can see it's so flat. You can see the back of your own head. <laughs> <laughs> I forget whose joke that is. The massive protests. We're provoked by the government's plan to increase taxes. Protesters say the measures will disproportionately affect people who rely on their cars to commute to work. Many roads have been closed due to the protesters' blockades. That's what protests do. You, you actually have to upset stuff. I love when people go, why you got to protest and block traffic? I'm trying to get to work. That's the whole point. <laughs> you, if you do a protest in your apartment when no one doesn't bother anybody, that's not a protest. That's a party. <laughs> right? That's not the whole point of protesting is to make a ruckus and upset the normal goings on in society so people take notice of a problem. Um, in many places, the roadblocks have led to severe traffic jams. At the end of the day of protest, one person died, one person mm. was dead, and at least 229 people were injured. You know, one out of 2,000 different... According to the Minister of the Interior, authorities went on, on to arrest 117 people, placing 73 of them uh, in custody. So out of over a quarter million people, only 73 got put in custody. That's mm. pretty good. That is pretty good. But they're all wearing these yellow vests. Want me to show you? Here's here's some coverage. I don't know why we need that music. It's kind of annoying. I was kind of digging it. Oh, were you? Okay. <laughs> it's from Paris, where protesters blocked the roads, causing major traffic jams. Several 
separate demonstrations are being held in the French capital. Some 117 people were arrested. RT's Charlotte Dubinsky reports now from Paris. We've come here to the Champs Elysees, and I want you to have a look up here. Now, the Champs Elysees is supposed to be the most famous street in the world. Mm -hmm. And look how it's backed up. Look how they have it shut down. Pretty much all the way from here to almost Place de la Concorde, the road blocked by many people wearing those yellow vests. All the way to Place de la Concorde. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Did you know what she said? I don't know what to, All the way to Ponce on the Home. It's a different street. It's I, know, a I know that. Like, I've, I actually have walked there before. So oh, I have, but oh I, look I don't, at yeah, you, like Mr. I, I was in Paris Ooh. once. So I don't really know my way around or anything. That a but, boy. But I did get to go there when I saw it. Did you have a croissant? Of course. How was it? Yeah, it was delicious. Yeah. Crowds coming together to block off this major artery of Paris. And it looked at one point like a sea of yellow vests walking down the street. If we take a look towards the Arc de Triomphe, you can see that the traffic has been halted in some parts there as well. More people in yellow vests out. They're here to make their voices heard. And they certainly are having an impact in this part of Paris. <laughs> So these guys in yellow aren't they're not from the government. They're the protesters. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Make yeah, yourself they coordinated this pretty good. Yeah, make yourself yeah. look like a safety worker. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> they should all dress up as cops. That needs to happen. That's next. I'm gonna do a protest. When I do my first protest, and it's coming, I'm gonna have everybody dress up as cops. So That's a good idea. Then what? What are they gonna do then? <laughs> This is a movement of people who want to come out together to show how diesel powers over 60 percent of the cars in France. Mm -hmm. Unhappy they are with the policies of Macron, particularly about the increase in fuel prices that we've seen over the last year or so here in France. People saying some fuels have gone up by more than 20 percent in that time. We understand, though, that across France, up to 2000 demonstrations like. Look at like covering the entire country. Look basically. at that. Imagine if that was Texas and people went out in the street for Medicare for all. Yeah. That many people, that many protests. That's what this is what we're going to have to start doing in the United States. This is what we're going to have to start doing. You ain't getting Medicare for all. It doesn't matter if 100 percent of the people in the country want it, which it's pretty close. Mm -hmm. It's over 70. You ain't getting it unless this happens. You want to end the wars? This is what's got to happen. Oh, absolutely. Do we, you ain't getting it until they say, you want a living wage? You, even the Democrats aren't proposing a living wage. They're proposing spending on infrastructure, which will raise your wages. Fingers crossed. And they're saying it sounds like a nice idea. It sounds like, like oh, getting to pay enough money to live. We think that sounds cool. Look at this. That's how you do protests. That's how you do a protest. Look at that. Well, into the north over in England, they're having those huge protests for climate change right now. They shut down a couple bridges today. So really? It's, yeah, the world is loud right now, and the message is clear. It's time to get off fossil fuels. The time is here. That's how you do a protest. It's taking place with over 120,000 people taking part. Over 200. We already talked about it. 200. That was a, that's a bad number. 289,000. This is what they've been telling us why they're unhappy with the price of fuel, the price of living here in France, and President Macron. We're fed up. They take our money every day. We have small salaries. We can't make ends meet by the end of the month. It's the government's fault. They put laws in place that force us to buy a new car. But you need money to buy a new car. We're overtaxed. Pensioners can barely survive. Uh, here's some more to people on the street. Now, what did we complain about here in the United States? That, and people forget about this already, that the big problem was really this is our choices. Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, two of the most hated people in the country. These are our choices. And remember, the, the, South Park did a whole episode, a shit sandwich or a shit sandwich. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is people are waking up to how the establishment is getting together. The screw. You know, it was Hunter S. Thompson said, you know, the problem with voting for the lesser of two evil is that both parties can set it up that way. 
And so, well, well listen to this guy. He's he's sick of his stuff too. Uh, now he's, he's he did this next guy who's talking. He's he's here. I'll show you. So now he's sure he's wearing a cone on his head, but he's protesting. So don't dismiss him because he's wearing a cone on his head. He has some interesting things to say. Here we go. <laughs> Petrol prices never stop rising. It's the straw that's broken the camel's back. Macron and his buddies, just like those before him, are sending things from bad to worse. They ask our opinion once every five years, and then we suffer. We suffer. We were given a choice between the plague and cholera. We chose the plague. But... Sounds, is... sounds similar, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. We were given a choice between the plague and cholera. We charged the plague. And look what happened. Now we got to get out in the streets. That Oompa Loompa is wise. He speaks truth. <laughs> We see clearly that he's no better than the others. They don't care. They have chauffeurs. They don't pay for petrol. There are other ways to raise money. How about trying the rich? There's other ways to raise money. How about try the rich? Here, here. Boom. We were given a choice between the plague and cholera. This is, this is exactly the same, very similar to what's happening in the United States. Oh, yeah. There's a little more to this report from RT. President Macron has been in power for over a year and a half now, and he has uh, spoken many times about the protests that are taking place, particularly in the last week. He spoke about these protests, uh, and this is what he had to say. I hear the anger, and it's a fundamental right in our society to be allowed to express it. But I'm wary because many different people are trying to piggyback on this movement. Uh, there is some news coming out from some of those other protests, though. We understand that one person died. Okay, so there you go. And by the way, cops are pepper spraying people left and right over there. In one uh, of the cops are, no matter where you go in the world, cops are cops. Just so you know, no matter where you go in the world, cops are cops. And they're pepper spraying the hell out of the people over there. It's just so weird that you could just, what's it between pepper spraying someone and just wandering up and punching someone in the face? Pepper spray is actually more painful. Well, you want another comparison to the United States, too. You know, you look at Macron. Here's a guy that he is well-spoken and well-liked, but still a big neoliberal. That sounds familiar. It wasn't too long ago we had our version of that. Uh, you mean Barack Obama? Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're finding the same thing with Trudeau up in Canada. Eh? Yep. So all these sweet-talking liberals, uh, neoliberals, mm -hmm. selling the, the controlled opposition, selling people a bunch of... Barack Obama sold us right-wing Ronald Reagan policies, and we thought it was left because he said so, because he was a black guy in the head of the Democratic Party. I We've showed you that Barack Obama admits that his, what he was doing was considered moderate Republican any other time by any other people. That's the problem. They're having the same problem over there. Mm -hmm. But they know how to do a goddamn protest. Very true. Yep. There you go. Germany, France, yeah. Spain, they know how. England, they know how to protest. Yeah, they so know how to strike. We need to start getting that over here. Mm -hmm. And maybe we'll get Medicare for all. That's the only way we're getting it. They're not giving it to you. They are not giving it to you. You are not getting, you're going to worry about medical bills for the rest of your life. A lot of you are going to go bankrupt because you got sick in the richest country in the world because we have a complete corruption of our government. And you're supposed to shit, just like Whoopi Goldberg said, just sit back and listen and learn something before you try to take over. Our next live Jimmy Dore show is February 1st in Burbank, California. Go to jimmydorecomedy.com for a list of all our live shows. And please become a premium member if you can. Become a patron. It's the way we support this show because they're coming at us. And we give you bonus. We give you hours of bonus material every week. Check it out. Become a patron. And if you can, make sure you're still subscribed. They unsubscribe people every day. I know it sounds crazy. It only takes a second. Please make sure and click that bell when you subscribe so they'll send you a notice 